Okay, this is the DJI Mini 2. I'm going to do a quick demo on latency. And so latency is the delay from the video transmission that goes through the camera, through the drone, and is being sent by radio waves over here to the controller and ultimately to your display over here. And uh, that delay is about 200 milliseconds or one-fifth of a second. You can actually see it there. It's noticeable with the eye, even this close. So there's actually two latencies. One is the video being sent from the drone to the transmitter and ultimately the screen. And the other is from the transmitter out, the signal being sent to the drone to actually change the position of the drone. So between these two various latencies coming in and the signal going out to control the direction of the drone, uh, there's quite a delay there. It's a lot more than 200 milliseconds. Maybe it's a half a second or more. These are the DJI Mini 2 specs. You can see over here the latency is listed as 200 milliseconds. That's about one-fifth of a second. And these are the specs for the max speed, 16 meters per second. And S mode, that's around 52 and a half feet per second. 10 meters in N mode, 6 meters in C mode. And we'll talk about uh, the speed as well as the latency. And then we'll go ahead and do a demonstration showing how the max speed and the latency affect the uh, flight of the drone. Okay, I got a couple of buckets set up out here and they're 52 feet apart and that will represent the distance that the drone will travel in one second in sport mode. And we'll assume the drone is traveling between the two buckets in sport mode. Now we'll assume the drone is uh, midway between the two buckets, a little closer to the end bucket, which could be a stump or some other obstacle in the path. So as the drone is flying along at 52 feet per second, it reaches this midway point on it's travel over to the distant bucket and it's sending a uh, video back to the controller and this is what that video actually looks like but remember it's delayed by 200 milliseconds and this is the video that's actually being sent back to the controller at this point and of course it's going to be delayed by about a fifth of a second so the drone is actually still traveling forward and this is where the drone is actually at when that prior video is received by the controller so it's 10 foot closer to the uh, stump up there. So when the pilot receives the video from the drone at this position, he's actually over here. He's much closer to that bucket down there in the end or that stump, whatever you want to call it. So he's going to take some evasive action. Let's say uh, turn the stick to the left, right, or over it to avoid that stump. But there's a certain delay before that actually happens. And remember, he's no longer here. He's over there next to that stump already. By the time that corrective action actually happens, there's a good chance he's gonna hit that stump. So these are all things that a pilot needs to consider when he's flying low or fast, uh, near objects, close to the ground, near mountains, rocks, boulders, kind of stuff I like to do. And I'm gonna do another video here real soon showing uh, just a lot of tips on how to fly low safely without hitting things. So that'll be coming up here pretty soon.